Welcome to a bumper edition of Adventures here at Cruise First TV. As we think about getting some summer getaways booked now with P&O Cruises before they all sell out. Now it's a bumper year for cruise booking, so we've rounded up some incredible offers. Yes, P&O Cruises are always very popular and right now they have three special promotions that we can take advantage of. Special deals with extra onboard spending money to get more out of your cruising experience. Now some of the offers are time limited, but we'll pack thousands of pounds worth of value into every minute of the show. Absolutely, we shall. And we've got six amazing deals on the table for you from adults only offers up to Iceland and the fjords later and some other no-fly bargains that are hot right now. So let's start with a getaway that will be hard to resist. And it's in July, so not long to wait either. A seven-night Greek Isles cruise from Malta. We'll fly off to the bastions of Valletta to meet the beautiful Azura on the 4th of July. Azura is fantastic. One of the first cruise ships I ever stepped on board. And I got cruising straight away. And I got that cruising wasn't just about the ship but it was about what they call the software and the hardware. There's the hardware, which is the ship itself, and then there is the, the crew and the team on board who just make your whole time on board something special, something of a joy, something that really does feel like a holiday. In fact, it will take you the first couple of days, if you've never been on a cruise before, to just slow down, yes. relax, chill, you're really on holiday. I always think about that, like you've got to let that time to decompress yeah. the first few days on holiday. And it's easy to do on a cruise because everything's done for you. You but don't have to think about anything whatsoever. It's also easier done in the sunshine. Oh, that yeah. helps, doesn't that it? That always helps, absolutely. And I'm Just thinking that Malta will be rather sunny in oh. July. Perfect, yeah. What a lovely place to start a cruise. You don't see a whole lot going out of Malta, actually. So no. this is a lovely place to start. And of course, um, all of the hallmarks of great British cruising are always going to be encompassed into P&O cruises. Yes, we don't need you, to take adapters. We don't, yeah, exactly. You've got your mama, your P PG tips. It's those little home comforts that, um, you know, when we go away, I mean, there's certain things I always bring with me when I go away. You don't have to think about because they're already there for well, you. And Kettles in the cabins too. Yeah, absolutely. And also, whenever you do need to put your hand in your pocket for something, you're spending in pounds so you know what you're spending. Right, exactly. In instead of trying to do that, you know, the whole conversion what is this in dollars what is this in euros you don't need to worry I about know, it and no charges on your card for conversion and then also you've got your tipping included so look, yes. there's so much built into the cruise fare already and That's of course true. all your standard dining your dining room your buffet uh, the specialty dining if you want to splurge one night well it's not really a splurge it's a nominal fee for the quality but it's you know fantastic fantastic entertainment every night something different uh, featured show cast then they have guest acts as well you are going to love it we're into Catacolon first which is the port of ancient Olympia the site of the very first Olympic Games back in 776 BC it's almost 3,000 years ago that's crazy I remember it well you do, you do. <laughs> um, next up we're into Heraklion uh, for Crete of course which is known for some of the best ruins of the ancient civilizations they also have lots of lovely medieval architecture the palace of knossos is a wonder to enjoy um, then mykonos more ancient ruins await you but mykonos might be a day where you just want to enjoy a nice cocktail overlooking the Aegean, um, and maybe take some pictures of the windmills grab some unique finds in the boutiques that are um, that famous in mykonos then it's piraeus of course uh, port for, for Greece, uh, port for, for obviously for Greece, Athens even, um, since 1300. And you have got the, of course, the Acropolis. You've got to take your selfie up there. It's iconic. We're back into Valletta for your flight back to the UK. And if you'd like to stay a little bit longer, speak to our team about extending your trip. Do you know what? I think this would be perfect for there's someone in everyone's life i mean you might be converted cruisers you might go on you know three cruises a year and you've been doing it for the last 30 years but there'll be people around you people in your friendship circle people in the family who like the idea but they've never done it yet and you want to get them something which you know some people cruising isn't for them and it never will be and then there are some people who have seen it and they kind of like it but they've just not dipped their toe in and done it this would be a really really nice one to get those involved with as well 
cruising for the first time, I mean, what's what have you got to lose? It's a week in the sunshine either way. You get to see lots of different places. Um, so you've got a week of sunshine. And those people who haven't yet seen cruising will get on board and they'll get it straight away. They'll just love it. They'll love going to the different places. They'll love the experience and the getaway as well. So this is perfect. And the price is brilliant as well, because a lot of people think cruises, that's just for people who've got money, isn't it? Absolutely not. Look at what we've got for you. Remember the flight included from the UK over to Malta. Your seven nights of cruising on Azura, which is a, such a charming ship as well, you'll love it, around the Greek Isles and the flight back, of course, from Malta. Deposits today on this one, just £149 each. Your price tag for the whole cruise, and there is so much included there. We always think about those things that, you know, you're not paying for as you go along your cruise. Main dining, buffet dining every single day, all of those pools, um, you know, your entertainment shows, activities that go on on board. Nothing needs paying for there. You know, the extra things you're dipping into your pocket for are things like drinks, shore excursions and treats, shopping, spa treatments, things like that. Apart from that, there's a lot built in in terms of value for that 969 per person. Now, we need to talk to you about money that can be coming back your way in terms of onboard spending money, because on this offer, if you book a sea view, which is your ocean view, or above, you'll receive extra onboard spending money for you to treat yourself to things like pampering treatments, shopping, and other such things as well. And there's a special promotion which covers selected 2024 Fly Med Sailing 7 and 14 nights sailings and this promotion ends on the 4th of June so if you book it in right now you can take advantage of that and there are plenty more on our website as well so let's have a look at our upgrade prices for this offer then for the 4th of July there are many other dates as well between pretty much now through to October this year so if you like the sound of this one there's various med sailing 7 and 14 night sailings which you can take advantage of special promotion prices and onboard spending money because you know actually it's a misnomer to say that you spend money on a cruise actually you have your cruise card and you charge things to those to that card and it goes onto an account and you pay that at the end of the cruise but actually with onboard spending money your card is already pre-loaded with some spending money it's like credit already which is brilliant now listen um, just for those people who are getting more and more interested, let's stay with this offer for a second and go back on board, actually, Azura, and go and have a look around, because Azura has so much to offer on board. It's a very, very friendly ship. It's not one of these big ships either, so it feels quite intimate. Um, you'll meet people straight away. You'll become friends with people on board. They have some amazing shows on board Azura as well, and plenty of space for everyone. So if you want to just chill out with a book, you can. Um, and not feel like you've got those thousands and thousands crowded around you. That's the great thing about a P&O cruise. It's built for the UK market. You know, th this cruise company know what we like and they've been doing it yes. for a long time. So they know that we like our time and our space. They know that we don't want service that's too over the, so over the top and yeah. in our face. Um, so P&O just tick every box nicely. This is why you come back year after year and cruise after cruise to enjoy yeah. the P&O Cruises vessels, you know. Um, um, home from home. Some highlights on board include the Planet Bar, which has these incredible screens um, showing images from around the world. So you can sit and sip your cocktail in that relaxed environment. And if you want a bit more hustle bustle, of course, you have um, Brody's Bar and Casino. You have the Muller Bar for evening entertainment, for magic shows. So there's really something for whatever your mood is. That's the lovely thing yeah. about uh, you know being on board and this fantastic vessel. Some nice shows to enjoy as well actually and and not all of them just you know passive sit there and watch shows there are shows that you can get involved with as well there's a new um, game show they've just introduced called wavelength yes which is hosted by Ben Shepherd yep. and and that you actually you are a contestant you get involved in it as well so I think it's quite nice you know the, the, the cruise lines have, have really got with the program in terms of yes we like sometimes to sit down and watch a production show but sometimes we like to feel like we're part of the action as well which is really really lovely Azura is just very very comfortable calm nice calming colors right the way throughout as well and we'll have a quick look as well again at where this cruise is going to remember it's flying in and out of Valletta yeah. in Malta which is absolutely beautiful itself and then you're cruising through the Greek Isles there as well maybe there are places on that itinerary that you've never been to before 
maybe you have taken a holiday in Mykonos. Maybe that was 20, 30 years ago. Maybe it's time to dip back in and see uh, what has changed. But as I say, for first time cruisers, this is absolutely incredible really really nice and if you want yeah. to know more just call us right now or go onto our website these promotions with pno cruises right now are all live on our website every cruise ship every sailing it's there and you'll find it yeah fantastic mm. now the next couple of offers are adults only and a chance to get away and chill out and we are off on a no-fly adventure over 60 nights up to iceland and norway on homely arcadia now this is taking place on the 30th of july which is a wonderful time to to visit of course the northern reaches of the world when you're going to have that midnight sun most likely as well now arcadia um adults only which is brilliant if you're you know wanting to get away from it all maybe you are parents or grandparents you're like we just want to do us this cruise it's all about us that's great um, and you know the spaces as you'd imagine on an adult only vessel are going to be very um, very tailored towards the finer things in life um, beautiful bars and restaurants of course the crow's nest now they have lots of events up in the crow's nest too which is great like your evening parties and things screening room if you want to catch a movie that's a really nice touch um, they tend to show lots of different films on and of course all your favorites such as if you want to enjoy learning about art white walls art gallery has some incredible artists featured cruising out of southampton the first port is belfast so you can head to see the titanic exhibit and museum which is fascinating i loved doing that when i was there um, strolling downtown you'll find the locals in belfast are so friendly one of my favorite cities next up it's stornoway in scotland <laughs> i know you have to say it with an accent you have to say it with an accent uh, you might you might want to head to a distillery to learn about whiskey while you're here or perhaps um, some of the famous iconic sites such as Callendish Standing Stones. Then we're into Iceland, Reykjavik, of course the capital for incredible geothermal activity. Now this is going to be an overnight import as well. It's a land of volcanoes and glaciers, lava fields and green pastures, boiling thermal springs and ice cold rivers and a trip to the Blue Lagoon is a must and at night under the stars nothing like it. Isifjordor awaits us next. Now this is the centre of the West Fjords Peninsula um, and the ancient settlement of Erie downtown as well is very interesting. Um, a tour you might want to do here is the West Fjords and Waterfall and Villages. Then it's Akieri and this is your gateway to of course the famous land of fire and ice and the dramatic landscapes and the volcanic craters and uh, lava lakes and waterfalls. I just find this part of the world so interesting. Beautiful, you it? will too, learning about the Vikings. Alison's up next in fabulous Norway uh, with its lovely nouveau style buildings, turrets, spires, those lovely coloured houses uh, where they feature lots of lovely bars you can see the puffins the wildlife it's going to be beautiful in summer and then we're into Skjolden which is at the heart of the fjords and it's your gateway to a real world of wonder lots of national treasures here and UNESCO sites um, alongside those ice blue fjords now you're going to have some incredible scenic cruising along the way as well as you enjoy the fjords and everything they have to offer before we head back into Southampton and you disembark just so easy cruising in and out of Southampton. Yeah. You can shop whilst you're on board in the ports. Uh, you know, maybe maybe pick up some unique handicrafts for your home from Norway, um, and you don't have to fly back. So it's quite it's wonderful. Yeah, it's really really good. This is the kind of cruise I'm really trying to talk my mum and dad into doing as well. Uh, they are procrastinating and pontificating at the moment but this is perfect because a lot of people like to cruise close to home you know you either don't fly you're not familiar with flying you know and, and, and everything that comes with it or you just choose not to maybe you, you don't fly you know it's it's not something for you but you love your cruises this is perfect now this is already booking up very very quickly as you can imagine there's not long to wait until this one comes around as well we're talking about the end of july so actually there's a fairly good chance and we don't say this often uh, uh, really because a lot of um cruises we do out of southampton go out you know right beginning of the year or the end of the year so you're thinking okay what's the weather going to be like in southampton that day but there's a pretty good chance that on the 30th of july as you sail away you'll be sailing out of the sun in southampton which itself is a novelty itself um so 
P&O Cruises Arcadia, perfect, perfect ship. Adults only remember, 16 nights, full board, no fly cruising to and from Southampton up to Iceland and Norway with extra onboard spending money for all cabin grades if you book by the 2nd of April. That's why we're telling you about this right now so you can take advantage of extra money to spend on board, which is brilliant. You're never going to say no to that. Now, you can put a deposit down on this now for July. £259 per person, that's where your deposits start from today. And your price tag for the whole cruise, and I think this is brilliant, because actually, you know, it's really easy to work out. Um, 16 nights, 1679, absolutely perfect. When you consider on a day-by-day -day basis how much that includes, it is ridiculous. Now, this itinerary, by the way, is also available for the 27th of June next year. So again, if you book that right now, put your low deposit down, take advantage of the promotion with the extra onboard spending money, it just makes real sense to do it right now. The other thing to do with all of these P&O Cruises offers as well, if you want to add your drinks package, talk to the team and add it when you book and we'll take 10% off the price of the drinks for you when you book. You're welcome. Here's the upgrade prices. If you want to upgrade on this cruise then, it's 16 nights, remember. Adults only in the peak of summer, and this isn't a peak summer cruise price tag either. It's a bit, you know, kind of, hang on a second. While the kids are on a school holiday usually, I know this is an adults only ship, but normally the price of everything doubles or trebles, doesn't it, at this time of the year? Well, that is not a premium price tag that you would expect for a cruise of that length at this time of the year, which is absolutely peak summer season. It is ridiculous. It's beautiful as well. Call us right now. All our P&O Cruises deals are on the website as well uh, at cruisefirst.tv. Let's get back on board Arcadia as well because she is a lovely ship and I really want you to see. I quite like the fact that actually this is kind of the combination of two different itineraries as well. You've got Iceland, and there's been loads going on up in Iceland, haven't there? Um, there's been the uh, the volcanic eruptions recently, so there's very lively in that part of the world at the moment. But you're also dipping into the fjords of Norway as well, which I think is is pretty exciting. They have some lovely production shows on board Arcadia as well. And of course, with it being an adults only um, offering, really, really, I mean, look at all these dining restaurants as well. Well, one thing I love about this ship, they actually have their own gin that's been mixed by, of course, the fantastic yeah, Salcom yeah. gin down in Devon, yeah, really yeah, beautiful. Yeah. Um, and it's called the Maribel gin. So not only can you learn about the different gins, you could do um, yeah. a sipping and tasting and a talk by guided experts. Bring some home. Yeah, but you can try it. And then this is where we're off to, of course, course all these incredible we're starting off in Belfast and, and Scotland which is lovely and then not just Reykjavik but it's Fjordor and Akieri so we're, we're off the beaten track a bit in Iceland yeah. finishing off in fabulous Norway and of course enjoying the land of the midnight sun love it, that it's just perfect isn't it and if you think about it you know someone in your life right now and it might not be you you might have all your cruises sorted for this year we might not be talking about you right now we might be talking about members of your family friends, people that like to cruise from the UK and actually go somewhere yeah. interesting, then, you know, point them in our direction. Remember, all of our shows are on YouTube as well. So even if, you know, the, the someone you're thinking of doesn't have Sky, no problem. We have a live channel running on YouTube 24 hours a day. Just search for Cruise First TV. But don't go anywhere just yet, because next up we've got a Norwegian Fjords itinerary with a difference because it's 12 nights. So it's a chance to really enjoy the cruise and yeah. see more of this, you know, wonderful part of the world. It's adults only again this time on the Aurora on the 21st of July out of Southampton. Now, Aurora is normally associated with doing the world cruising, of course, yes. uh, for P&O cruises. So she really, she really has got plenty of nautical miles on her clock, which is wonderful, actually, because it means that the team on board are fascinating and really interesting. Really, really interesting indeed, um, because they have travelled the world, which yeah. is fantastic. Yeah, and, um, and this is also adults only, of course. Yes, of course. Yeah. Yes. Um, you have got incredible restaurants like Sindhu, which I just sent my parents to, the one down in Marlow, absolute rave oh, reviews. Incredible. So, yeah, yeah, we're going to be heading off to well, dot, dot, dot. You have got Heigersund as your first port in Norway, a thriving town centre with hundreds of shops um, and cultural diversions, thrilling excursions to 
to enjoy, of course, as well, um, including history, architecture, and the natural beauty that you'll enjoy in summer, um, where the, the, the land is so lush and green. Then it's Gyeldon uh, from these lovely mountains in the National Park right there to the humble churches that dot the landscape. It is picture perfect Norway, just as you'd always imagined, of course, the land of trolls, um, <laughs> which you can learn about, by the way. Um, a great place to, to learn about the trolls I've is Alison. I've just seen the film troll there is a film they're not going to be purple in norway i don't want to disappoint you no yeah no no it's an adult's film oh, it's a really right. really good film no it is really really good troll okay don't, don't let him confuse you i'll, yeah, I'll we're gonna tell get, you more so, in a moment tron time's up next um which was founded in 997 a.d by the viking olav trygfason uh, there we go um you can learn about the history by street car and coach then we're on into the fabulous nordfjord and this is where you can take a tour of the fjords and glaciers, which is very cool, do a Viking experience, learn how the Vikings lived. That would be quite interesting, won't it? Um, then we are into Andal says, and this is uh, the mountaineering capital actually, where you can head to, here we can talk about some trolls now, Troll Wall, <laughs> Troll Vegan it's called. They're real, you know. Um, you can also go to the <laughs> Troll Stigenheimen and the Stigfoss Waterfall while you're there. Um, we're into um, Elfjord next with the incredible waterfalls, cascading waterfalls and these kilometers of fjords of natural beauty, incredible. And of course, you'll be enjoying this on the ship as well as you're sailing into these ports. Uh, Tav Stavanger's next, where oh, you can see the sword so in nice the there. rock, the pulpit rock, yeah. very cool, where three giant um, uh, swords are crossed by, they say, legend says, by Vikings um, in 872. A couple of days at sea, sees us back into Southampton. Of course, your scenic cruising is the real highlight of cruising the fjords of Norway, where you'll see these lush green lands landscapes intercepted with these imposing fjords um, and streams. I mean, it is absolutely mind-blowing when you see this scenery it's nothing like it enjoying it up on deck deck with a summer breeze and a nice cocktail you feel like you are on top of the world you literally are on top of the world because you're right up there on deck 13 well, yeah, or so you are you're, you're eye to eye with the scenery and uh, by the time you come back you can tell us how how to pronounce all of those fjord names <laughs> <laughs> because you know we looked at the list and then no way we're not we're not saying that um but yeah it's a fascinating part of the world it really is it's beautiful um nice time of year to get away to it as well because this is a good weather time of the year as well i know you're always in your mind i think still some people have in their mind that norway hang on a second do i need to take all of my biggest coats it's not the arctic um you know yes you can have slightly less clement days you know like we do here in the uk but july pretty good chance you're going to be enjoying you know nice warm days nice sunshine as well would take a light jacket with you uh, there's my advice anyway nice july getaway on arcadia with pno cruises no fly cruising again from southampton uh, for a lovely itinerary that's an extended fjords itinerary as well so more days for you to enjoy those wonderful views and the waterfalls and just relaxing in style um, and book it right now in fact book it before the 2nd of april and you'll get up to an extra 500 pounds of onboard spending money to enjoy on your cruise that's dependent on which kind of uh, grade of cabin you go for now i can tell you the deposit today is 179 pounds per person which is really good that's where the deposits start and your price tag for the whole cruise and this is brilliant so many i don't think i've ever seen a 12 nights fjords itinerary before I don't think such a detailed one as well. Um, and this is wonderful. You have some really authentic experiences up in the fjords as well. You go and visit, you know, the, the houses of the locals, you go and visit the historic sites, you go and visit the glaciers. There's so much on offer. There are other dates on this offer as well, and they are the 24th of April, the 25th of July, and the 26th of July. Do I mean June? 25th of June and 26th of July, I think, for next year. And you can book those now before the 2nd of April and you can take advantage of the promotion that's on right now for extra onboard spending money if you book that by the 2nd of April. Right, let's put all the dates on the screen. I've, I've bombarded you with too much information there. Um, so there are, you've got the 12th of July and that's the price on screen. The 1179 is for the 12th of July, uh, 21st of July, should I say, for 12 nights. And then you've got other dates, which you can put your low deposit down on right now for April, June and July next year. Call for the prices on those and take advantage, if you can, book it before the 2nd of April to take advantage of that extra promotion where you get extra onboard spending money. And one more thing, 
and book your drinks package when you actually call and make your booking because it makes so much sense. It's £45 per person per day. We'll discount that by 10% if you book it when you uh, call us with your booking. Fantastic. Right, okay, I've said too much right now. Let's go and look at a ship again. In fact, let's go back on board. This is Aurora, isn't it, this time? She is pure beauty personified. Uh, we were talking about the restaurants before. Some of yes. those, a lot of those are included. You have got some speciality dining. As Joe mentioned, Sindhu is on board, Asian Fusion, which is beautiful. We've also got the Beach House as well, which is more gorgeous. sort of South American, Caribbean, stateside cuisine, really sort of hearty dishes there which is lovely um you're going to love and some really really again some really really lovely um shows on board as well top of the billboard sounds really good um that celebrates uk pop artists as well who broke it big in america so people like george michael and elton john adele and queen as well which is always and, good yes which is nice they have the sky dome over the crystal pool yes. so you know weather dependent yeah. which obviously this part of the world can be, you have that, you can still enjoy the solarium and that tropical vibe inside, you know, in your pool and everything like that. And here's where we're going. Yes. And you can be going on the 21st of July next year, uh, sorry, this year, or indeed other dates available for April, June and July next year. Right, marvellous. Let's move on now. I'm we'll confused. There, I don't, don't know worry. about you. You can watch this show again, actually. <laughs> it might make sense the second time around. Uh, it's on our YouTube channel. Let's do some quick picks then. These are no flies on uh, P&O Cruises' uh, latest three ships. So let's start with PO275 then, which is two weeks of no fly. Canaries cruising on Iona for the 18th of March next year. Uh, it's a new sailing. It's just been released. Low deposits starting from 149 per person. And the price tag for this, 989 per person, which is pretty good jump on that straight away don't forget to book, book your classic drinks package as well and save the 10 percent when you book po276 is two weeks of cruising on pno cruises arvia around the med so spain and france on this itinerary again to and from southampton from a thousand and fifty nine pounds per person deposits today starting from just £159 per person. Your solo prices are on there for you as well. And PO277 is not far off, actually. It's a bit of a late deal, isn't it, for the 7th of June? That'll be around before we know it. It's seven nights to Gijon, La Coruña and Santander in Spain. It's not just a bank, you know. And also that one calls in at Cherbourg in France as well from 689 per person. Third and fourth guests sharing in your cabin there sail from just £99 per person. So again, if you want to find out more about any of those, you can pop in those PO references into our website, cruisefirst.tv, or you can call us on 0800 953 4700. Well, I tell you what, it was a challenge to get all six of those offers into the show, but challenge accepted and challenge done. I love the P&O ships as well. They yeah. are fantastic. And particularly the itineraries on offer are perfectly tailored yeah. to P&O cruises. They yeah, are. really lovely. And you're going to really appreciate that. I mean, just imagine having Iceland and Norway in the calendar. Mm. I mean, yeah. that's going to be some, really something to look forward to. And they Summer's are lovely. the best time. Yes. Yeah. And I'm just going to say this again. It might not be you that we're talking to right now. That you, Some of these deals in this show, you're thinking that would be perfect for... Yes. My, br my brother and his wife or some friends that we know that haven't yet done a cruise, maybe take them on a cruise like this. You know, it's P&O cruises, so you spend in British pounds on board. There's no tipping on board because we're always a bit awkward about that kind of thing anyway. But gratuities are included, so that's one less worry. Do you know what I mean? One less thing on your mind if you haven't been on a cruise before. By the way, the cabins, the wardrobes are immense and vast. Spacious. So, yes. And and well, you're wheeling your luggage on anyway, yes. so you don't need to worry about that. And it's perfect for anyone that for maybe health reasons or just because you don't like to fly, can't fly to destinations. You're just literally going to Southampton and going straight on the cruise ship, no flying involved. Fantastic. I love that. Yeah, and remember, if you're sailing in and out of the South, uh, Southampton, if you've never cruised before and you don't know what to wear, Take the whole blooming lot. <laughs> it's for cover all bases. Anyway, listen, stay right where you are. There's plenty more fabulous cruise shows on the way. See you soon.